In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step how to work up a lung nodule. The case I will show you is typical of most cases of lung nodules, and it will demonstrate how we apply our set of rules regarding lung nodules in the daily practice of radiology. So here's a chest x-ray of a 70-year-old patient referred for shortness of breath. The radiologist was quick to pick up this focal area of increased opacity in the left upper lobe, and this is concerning for a nodular mass. The next step is to recommend a non-contrast chest CT. Here are the chest CT images. I can see that the finding on the chest x-ray corresponds to this nodule. Now when I see a nodule, I go through a checklist to evaluate what that nodule could be. First, I analyze the nodule to look for benign features. Is there calcification of the nodule that could suggest a granuloma, which is a benign process? Or is there internal fat in the nodule, which would indicate a hamartoma, a benign lesion? I'm going to look at prior CTs to see if this nodule has been present for greater than two years, because if so, there's a high likelihood that it's benign. The patient doesn't have any prior CTs. I'm going to go ahead and measure the nodule. This nodule measures two centimeters. I know that this nodule could be further characterized by PET-CT, if indicated. I'm also going to look in the patient's history to look for any risk factors for lung cancer. It happened to be that this patient had 40 pack years of smoking. So in my mind, there's a high probability that this nodule represents cancer. I would go forward with further characterization with PET-CT. Here are the PET-CT images. The first thing I like to look at is the MIP image. This is a 3D image showing the FDG activity as areas of blackness or darkness. I can see that in the region of the left upper lobe, there is spherical prominent FDG uptake, which corresponds to that nodule. Next, I'm going to look at the fused axial images. This fuses the PET data with the CT data. I can see that this nodule is very bright or very orange. It's taking up a lot of the PET agent. This means that this nodule is very hypermetabolic, and this sort of confirms my feeling that this nodule could represent cancer. Now, could this represent other things? Yes, theoretically, it could be a focus of infection. It could still represent a healed area of tuberculous infection. From here, we could either go to surgery to resect this portion of lung, or we could do a minimally invasive CT-guided biopsy to confirm or exclude malignancy. We opted for a CT-guided biopsy. This is an image from the biopsy procedure showing successful access of the lesion. From here, cells were sent to pathology, and after a few days, they revealed adenocarcinoma. So there you go. That is the clinical practice of working up lung nodules, something that radiologists do every single day to find and diagnose lung cancer and help people. Hope this video was helpful. I'm Sherelle Garmd. Thank you for watching.